I need a gym membership. <laughs> and the problem is, is that I, I go to the gym and then for two weeks and then my motivation just ceases to exist, which is very sad. So I thought about getting a PT just so I can, what is it? Oh, have the, account. yeah, exactly. Mm. Have somebody yeah. hold me accountable. But 600,000 won for having someone hold me accountable? <laughs> I don't know, boss. I don't know. I kind of justified it because I'm getting a raise next. We're getting a raise in a month. Oh, nice. Just because oh, we're epic. We are. Yeah. So I was like. But it's only like, what, 100,000? For me, I think I would get 100,000. I think I'm getting an extra 100,000 because I have a travel school. <laughs> okay, but you live in Seoul, all right? I don't. I, like, I don't live in Seoul and I don't work in Seoul. I work in Incheon. And Incheon is not a big city. I don't know. Incheon should be like... I tried the Corvia. <gasps> me too. And no. They only had the Mormon school mm. and it had bad reviews online. Yeah. And then there was another one that was like a homestay. I'm not a homestay. A homestay. A home. So it's a three story building. Mm -hmm. it's the purpose of it is to mimic like an American household. So ideally, uh -oh. it's an American couple coming to teach. They live on the second floor. And okay. The students live on the first floor for three weeks. Okay. And students rotate out every three weeks. Mm -hmm. And then the basement is where the classes are held. But I was like, I do not want to live in the same building I'm teaching or have to deal with students. Facts. Oh my gosh. And I don't no. I don't know if they come with a Korean chaperone. Right? Oh no. Like what happens when there's an emergency yeah. and I have to I don't know. I was just like, mm, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. I've done summer camp. That's not for me. <laughs> Expect not for a year. Hell no. So I I just have to do a summer camp for the first time this year. So it's Oh, a I mean like a Oh, a sleepaway like, camp in U.S. You've never done one? No, I I was supposed to t like be a counselor in one. Oh, right. And okay. then, yeah. Ah, I see, I see, I see. And that was only for one summer. Not for me. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a lot <laughs> to go through, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're we're we haven't started yet. You'll okay. know. Yeah, I'll do the whole. Me... Hi, everybody. Okay. You know, like that mm -hmm. that joint. So loud with it too. That gave me Veggie Tail flashbacks. <laughs> I don't know why. I love Veggie Tails. Like, it's so underrated. It really is. Like I grew up on it. Is it, it made like being Christian a little bit easier because it was mm. easier to understand rather than just like listening yeah. to the Bible stories. Because mm. it was talking vegetables. I think now they don't. I think it's owned by a different company. It's not Christian anymore. Mm, but I think they're still. I think they're still like these are morals. Okay. Yeah. So well, but yeah. it's good that they're still promoting yeah. you know moral yeah morally right things because you know the world needs it. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> the same thing. Jeez, man, we are here together. <sighs> okay. But she was super nice. She got me that sandwich. And then she gave me as many discounts as she could because I think because I was a returning customer. Right. And then at first she didn't recognize me. And then I mentioned I realized she didn't recognize me. Right. Which I don't blame her. And she sees so many people. Right. Right. And so then I I was like, oh, I, I came in February. And then I showed her pictures of the, the coloring she did then. So then she was like, oh, my God, thank you for coming back. Oh, <laughs> yay. See, my uh, my nail tech, she gives me discounts all the time. Like, I Your nails be love her. on Instagram. Girl. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, like, the every time if I go get my nails done somewhere else, like, I legitimately hate it and can't wait to get back to her mm -hmm. because she knows what mm -hmm. I like. And then if, say, for instance, like, my nail breaks randomly, mm -hmm. like, she'll let me come and fix it for free. You know, mm -hmm. or and then she'll give me a discount, you know, on my next time around because my nail broke. I was Ooh. like, dang, girl, it ain't even your fault, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I love her. So Dong in China, you guys, if you want to get your nails done for the for the low too. Real nice. We hadn't started yet. <laughs> I know, right? We haven't, uh, but you know, I edit things in and edit things okay. out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would literally love to like marry a gyopo. Like, I think that would be mm. the best, like, possible Korean man that I could 
potentially meet because he understands Western life. Do you definitely want Korean? Kyopo? I mean, that I would like that. I don't necessarily like that's Are what Are you I opposed want. to like an American living in Korea? Yeah. Okay. Loki, hockey. <laughs> Any reason? <laughs> I... Loki, I'm just over Americans in general because mm. they always treat me like trash. So it's like, Damn. I don't, I don't fancy them at this moment, mm. you know? And even the ones like, the ones that are coming for me here in Korea are the military ones, very uneducated, very like still, that. yeah, you know, still hometown kind of Everybody mentality. on the dating apps lives in Gunsan, mm. which, which is like an automatic, like, okay, you're military. Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm just oh, like, the, Sean funny enough. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> Hey, Sean. <laughs> no, literally, the guy that I'm going out with tonight is military. So I'm just like, fuck. Like, okay. I like going to Guangzhou. I like going to Seoul. I like going to other cities because I can just be be myself. Absolutely. I love Seoul because I can be invisible. It's a break. And I can also dress a little bit more revealing. Mm. Um, but let's be honest. You're not going to be invisible everywhere. Like, everywhere here in Korea because you're gorgeous, right? And the men love you here. <laughs> Sorry, it is what it is. <laughs> like we went to Seoul not too long ago. Um, I think it was <laughs> like for a shy. comedy show. Uh, be shy, it's fine. Get red. <laughs> like, <laughs> we went to a comedy show, you guys, and like it was so funny. Like the amount of eyes that just gravitated towards her. You are it was lying. Hilarious. I am not. There were not that many eyes. There and was then, one guy. And then the uh, like this bus was passing by, right? And like. <laughs> She was just looking into the bus. Like, I was we were looking both. rough that day. <laughs> you were not. You were pretty. You we had dressed up to go out. You had wore I that had black skirt very with little the makeup white. on. Girl, and then the next day I had the flu. She <laughs> she's trying to be modest, and I love that for you. But like <laughs> he literally like stared you down from that bus. Like and them, he smiled I, at me. What? It almost broke his neck. Like, come on. So like he looked at me and then I like looked away and then I looked back and he was like, and it was like this Korean guy. I don't, I guess I'm assuming early twenties, but yeah. yeah, it was like me, <laughs> who me, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, like you're surprised though. Like, I love that because, and I get your surprise because of where you live and mm. maybe it's not that many eyes on you in that way but i was telling her mm. like if she comes to seoul she's gonna have a rough time i was like <laughs> so dating could have been easy this whole time it could have been i'm telling what could have trying been? to find men in my small town who speak english and want to date a foreigner that's Girl. difficult <sighs> i'm telling and, you well let me ask you what does your glow up look like i think about this often because i'm like there's so i'm pretty young so i'm like there's a lot of different avenues I could take. Right. And I'm kind of obsessed with always changing myself, even if that's not a glow up, just constantly changing. Um, Cause I've changed, you wouldn't recognize me who I was when I got to Korea or started university. Um, you really would not recognize me. So, but right now my glow up, my short term goal is to get the body that I want um, appearance wise. Nice. And get better at makeup, better at hair, um, putting more effort into how I present myself. Because mm. I I have come to realize that that's just how the world works. Um, the world is shallow. Yeah, and man. the way that you present yourself it's important. is how they perceive you. Mm. So I've been just trying to slowly integrate more makeup, hair, gym life, that kind of stuff into my life. A glow up long term. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet. And that's fine. You don't <laughs> have to know. But thank you for the short term. Glow thank up. you. <laughs> I have goals, but they don't fall under glow up. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, like if those goals make you hella money, it could potentially fall under glow up. Maybe. I'm not sure. I know that I think eventually I want to either foster or adopt and I want to Ooh. have a family or have a husband and a cat or two. That's beautiful. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>